Alright, so you're wandering through the internet. Entertainment levels are low. You both are about to die of boredom. What do you want to do? I look for a cool new podcast! Yeah, and I assist. Alright, give me an investigation check. Oh yeah, and roll with advantage. Hey everybody, it's uh, your DM, Alan, and uh, I just wanted to give a big shout out to Nerdward Apparel. They gave me a ton of it suggestions for uh for encounters last week on twitter and it was extremely inspiring and i really appreciate the help that they gave so i suggest checking them out they're at nerd word apparel on twitter and if you want to interact with us um, ask us questions about the characters or just send some suggestions our way uh, feel free to we're at dm's table on twitter Last time, on Roll with Advantage. So, I was sitting in line, minding my own business, you know, as such, and, uh, and we were sitting there, uh, waiting to get on this Golden Goose ship that, uh, that a buddy of mine told me about, and there was this angel that came out, and it was flying around, it was super cool, and then this lady came out, some shy woman, and she, uh, she disappeared the angel and was like, this is part of the show, come see it. You know, and I was a high roller, so, you know, I, I got front row seats. I got to see this tiny pygmy dragon that was uh, putting on this great show. It was absolutely amazing. And then uh, we went through and gambled. I won a ton of money. And then this the show lady came over and she was like, hey, are you cheating? And uh, I was like, nah. And then she kicked me off the ship for no reason. I had to swim all the way back to Yata. Shoot. <laughs> so Keo, you're you're prepping for your yeah. for your uh, second act, yep. and uh, up the stairs, like stumbling left to the right, and like dragging himself up the uh, railing is is Kinian, and he is thrashed. Just. <laughs> He, he looks awful. He's falling right behind uh, this human that walks up. And the human's, like, kind of kicking his feet. He's like, this is fucking bullshit, man. This is bullshit. <laughs> that was my drink, man. <laughs> and, and he goes over to one of the one of the lesser tables. I'm like, okay, so I look at Kenny. I'm like, Kenny, it's time for the show. Mm. I'm, like, ah. I'm like, here, this will help. And I, I give him a... Hand him my shine to take a take a sip. <laughs> okay. To calm his nerves. <laughs> How many ounces are in this? It's probably just a little pocket flask, right? You're supposed to just take a little bit. No, don't drink it all. <laughs> when you say don't drink it all, he's like dumping it into his mouth. Like end over end. Just blah, 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 blah. Way too late to be making that warning. <laughs> I need something high proof for the show. You, you stop. I stop. I uh, say, well, watch this. I take a torch. And go. Oh my god. <sighs> <laughs> it's exactly. Like, That's what I was gonna do. It goes. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you can't do that. <laughs> I was going to do that. <laughs> now I can't do that. Why but can you do this? Uh? <laughs> Kyo chuckles at that one. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm gonna stop now. <laughs> did, did you drink all of the? Oh, yeah, yeah. The 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 first bottle, the birthday bottle. No, I set it down in the locker. Oh, okay. Because okay. I had the, the great idea to modify my uniform. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not forget the modifications. And uh, yeah. so, so I'm like, oh well, we'll we'll have to try something else. The show must go on. The show must go on. <laughs> and so, um, I instruct my unseen servant to play green sleeves on the um, okay mandolin, and it's just floating behind us. And I'm floating behind it, like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
disbelief. <laughs> and I, I walk in, and I, I ask, um, can to you the center like, stage? Yeah, and I'm okay. like, it'll be really easy this time. You just need to hold the staff steady. So I <laughs> climb on the stage, yeah. and I hold his staff. Dex check. <laughs> 14? 14, all right. This one is dropping. Yeah, and my pants start slipping down. <laughs> yeah, they stay right. on, they just... So I, I climb up. Well, well. Yep. I climb up. I say, um, can someone bring a table over? And I strain like, my like eyes a, and like, hold like my hand table. out. <laughs> Meanwhile, Green Sleeves is playing. Yep, yep. Pow just, like, snaps her fingers. And one shows up right in front of you. Ta-da! <laughs> Deception. Yeah, I play it off like I'm not surprised by that. And <laughs> I have a deception of 19. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's way on board. They're they're if clapping along. I give a wink to Pow. Yep. 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 <laughs> so I'm, I'm sitting on top of the staff, kind of swaying back and forth. And I say to Kenny, I'm like, so, I hear you like to gamble. I hear you all like to gamble. <laughs> to rock us <this> applause. Yeah. <laughs> Gambling. <laughs> and so, um, I say, the problem with keeping a keeping a bird in your hat is sometimes they lay eggs. So I use prestidigitation to create three trinkets. Okay. In the shape of eggs. Okay. Show them to the crowd. Goose eggs. Yeah, uh, like some cups. Yep. So, <laughs> anyways, I'm like, okay. So, here's the trick. I'm going to put these eggs underneath the cups. Then I'm going to shuffle the cups. He doesn't really get how the shuffle, how that's supposed to go. And he said, now only one cup will have an egg under it. <laughs> All right. So. What I need you to you to do, Kinian, is pick the cup with the egg. Right. So there's, I'm sorry, there's an egg under each cup. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And pick a cup. And how many cups are there? Three. I see six. <laughs> I choose the two on the left. <laughs> the two on the left. Okay. I drop the um, existence, the marks, trinkets you can make with mm-hmm. the digitation can last up to an hour. You can have up to three of them. Mm-hmm. But um, I let the one under that cup yep, go. disappear. Yep, nothing. Nothing on it. It picks it up. Nope. It's not. How about a second try? Uh, the two on the right. And I do the same. Nope. And then I pick up the third one, which still has the, the trinket. Nice. And then I put the cup over it, mm-hmm. and I lift it up again. It's gone. Nope, and it's gone. Everybody just <laughs> is applauding. Mm-hmm. You hear some shouts come from the rear of the boat uh, mm-hmm. when this happens. And this tricks <laughs> there's a whistle that goes off. Mm-hmm. And... Um, uh, it's just like the whistle that you heard when the ship was mm-hmm. starting to take off. And uh, uh, Powell, Powell looks at you guys and says, uh, Get to the back of the ship, quick! We need your help! I say, Ta-da! <laughs> and I go running off. <laughs> I grab the glass to <laughs> Okay. As I go. And uh, I stumble uh, behind him. Yeah. Blip, 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 blip. Yeah. And I guess I'm leading you by the, by the cane. <laughs> so, uh, Tin... Uh, you can see down uh, down to the back of the boat, mm-hmm. there are these massive claws coming over top of the back of the boat rail. Connected to these claws are uh, these hulking crabs uh, climbing up on the back. Some of the guards are running, uh, running towards it, and they're saying, uh, This happens all the time. We gotta beat them with oars. We can't... We've got nothing. This is this is the downfall to having no weapons on this ship. And uh, there's people like pulling the, you know, they've got those uh, shepherd's hooks type mm-hmm. things yep. that pull people from from the water and stuff. Some people are pulling those off the mm-hmm. side of the boat um, and and like hitting these crabs. Uh, do you run towards it? I'm gonna go around to get my gear. Okay. All right. 
Because I'm assuming it's not it's not gonna take me too long. It's not. Did anybody ever take my gear off me? No. No, nope, because you were taken straight to Lord uh, Dryland. I offer, before she goes, I offer a dagger. Okay. Uh, at this time, Minette, a pit boss, walks up to you and says, uh, How says that you're needed out back? Uh, we got them damn hulking crabs coming aboard. And uh, she says, We could really use someone to throw them off. Uh, so you you all start moving towards the back. Uh, Tim, do you go and grab your stuff? Yeah, at least my mail. Okay. Oh, your armor. Yeah. That's uh, gonna take time. That's gonna oh, take yeah, a lot of time. Oh yeah, never mind. Then yep. I'll probably just take shield and mace. Okay. I'm assuming the attendant can kind of hear yep. the screams and. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, so you get your shield and mace, and you get to the back. You see two hulking crabs. Uh, up on the deck, like, snapping at these people uh, with these poles, and they're just kind of, you know, pull-poking these crabs, like, get on, get! Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, everybody roll initiative for me, please. Kyo? Kyo is going at a 20. 15. 14. And I'm 13. All right, it is. So I know that the guy said uh, throwing these things off. Yep. Uh, are these things like things we're not supposed to kill and just trying to repel from the ship? Well, the the, the assumption is is nobody's got weapons. Oh, and because just I pull out my thunder pants. Oh, okay. As, as we... <laughs> You're like <laughs> yep. with the uh, magic missile yep. uh, wand on the bottom. All right, so Keo. How big are these things, and how close are they to each other? <clears throat> you round this corner, uh, and you see two hulking crabs next to each other. They're huge, uh, so they are uh, about 10 foot wide each, okay. and the deck is about 50 feet wide. Yeah. Um, uh, so they're taking up a good portion of this deck. Okay, so a 20 foot diameter wouldn't be able to insert them both. Not fully, correct. So, instead, I pull out my pipe real quick, light it up, poof, 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 blow a smoke ring, okay. flaming smoke ring, and it goes out, and it turns into a big fire ring around one of them. Nice. Damage pointing inwards, wall of fire, <laughs> made with the diameter sufficient to be around it. Okay. Thus trapping it. Okay. Facing the damage towards it. Does it take damage when it enters this or on its turn? So it says, doo, 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 doo. when the wall appears, each creature within its area must make a dex saving throw. Uh, three. Three. That is below my save. I would yeah. hope. Yeah. So that's 5d8 fire. And then on each turn, that it ends there. It, it'll have that. Okay, on the end of their turn? Or at the start? Probably the start. We'll okay. say the start. Um, no, it's... Mm-hmm. No, on a turn that it ends, it's turn there. Oh, but, okay. Um, but it, end, it's like on a wall. Can, they can move through oh, it. Yeah, like it, if it moves through the wall, it takes the damage. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. So, I probably should have left a dead spot for it to stand. But. 10. 19 fire damage. 19. Mm-hmm. And right. I concentrate on that. Alright. That's my action. And it is Kinian's turn. That's my fourth level spell. Nice. I, uh, seeing fire erupting the, the deck of the, the ship, I yell loudly. Fire! Oh God! Fire! There's screams like coming up from behind you, um, and uh, uh, you hear like people running. So what do you want to do? Do you run towards the other crab? Yeah. Okay. So you run towards the other crab. What do you want to do when you get there? I rage. Okay. And. How far away is it from me, essentially, like the end of the boat? Oh, 40 feet. 
So you can get most of the way there. So I rage, mm -hmm. and I get down on my haunches really low. Okay. And I hold out my hands, and hold out my fingers like pinchers. Okay. And I start giggling. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and, I, and I go, clack, 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 clack. And I start walking like a crab. <laughs> oh, I'm a crab, I'm on a boat. <laughs> <laughs> That's my action. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, Lesser restoration. <laughs> Probably what you're looking for. Yeah. Manette. Okay, there we go. <laughs> there we go. No. I kind of like him throwing the fire and then we um... <laughs> I guess I'll wait a turn. Maybe. I I shoot at the, uh, <laughs> the crab that's not encircled in flame. Okay. So I... Move wherever I need to get line of sight on this yep, thing yep, and, and yep. shoot it. It's pretty easy. Does 17 hit? 17 meets. Manette casts find AC. Yep. <laughs> 23 damage. 23, holy shit. Some, some thunder, some piercing. Alright. And I reload. Uh, next is Tim. So there's two crabs, one in the wall of fire, one not. Alright, so and one half orc crab. <laughs> I'm, I'm aware of that, yeah. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get yeah. you. And quick, um, quick, quick. Kyo starts humming Ring of Fire. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I'm gonna cast Guiding Bolt on the crab that um, Manette shot, the one that's not in the wall. Try and hit first. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Sorry. You're not Patrick Rothfuss. You da, 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 can't just da. roll your damage. Eighteen. <laughs> Eighteen to hit. Eighteen hits. Okay. You so that's, in the <laughs> that's twelve damage. Twelve. Um, radiant, yeah. All right. So the hulking crab, mm -hmm. uh, encircled in flames, uh, attempts to walk through them. Uh, uh, backwards. It would try to back out like a cat. So it scuttles backwards, or whatever, um, doing how much damage to it? Yeah, it says a creature takes the same damage when it enters the wall for the first time. Okay, On so... On or ends its turn there. So. Go ahead and roll your damage. I don't think you can save against this one. No. Oh, lame rolls. 10, 23. 23. All right. Awesome. That crab gets up over the railing and it starts moving back. It's trying to it's mm -hmm. trying to run away, it looks like. Uh, that you can see like between the flames. Mm -hmm. um, the other crab rushes forward. It would attack. It would stand next to Tin and Minette. And one attack to Tin, one attack to Minette. <clears throat> I'm gonna use warding flare for me. Okay. Uh, which does disadvantage. 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 Um, all right. Uh, 18. That hits. And uh, that's a disadvantage. Yeah. Okay. I rolled an 11 and a 13. Okay. Uh, and then uh, 12. Oh. No. To make you aware, this has got 10 foot reach, so he's not okay. standing right next to you. Gotcha. I actually up. fall over and stop laughing. Okay. And shout out, oh god, it's it's a big crab. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> now that it's closer, it's it looks larger. Really far away. <laughs> nice. Uh, you both take. Oh right, sorry. You take ten. It's twelve points of damage. I need you to give me a um, a strength. Uh, oh wait, no, you're just grappled. Okay. Yep. Yep. Target is grappled. And then you can attempt to break that grapple on your turn. Uh, next is Keo. Keo. So Keo, seeing that it's adjacent to his um, friends, mm -hmm. you know, he didn't see the other one because of the flames, mm -hmm. so he's still concentrating. But, um... Has to be within five feet, though. 
is a 10 foot distance. Actually, no. He's on, he's yeah. on uh, 10. Cool. Sorry. 10 grapples, so. Yep. yep. Be adjacent. Still counts. Alright, so. Kyo quickens a third level chromatic orb. Seventeen plus five should be good enough. Yes. And it is a flamey chromatic orb. Nice. This flames work all right. Ooh, good damage. Twenty-four plus nine is thirty-three plus two. Thirty-five fire damage. Nice. Thirty-five. And since that was quickened, he can follow up with firebolt. Alright. Did you add your personal So that's 4d10. Yeah. 4d10? Alright. 4d10 plus 2. Alright. Well, that's fairly good too. 15 plus 8 would be 25. 25. 25 five damage? On the second, yeah. Uh, on the second hit, on the same crap, right? Yeah. It's dead. Yeah. Blah, blah. Nice. No, you are no longer so. grappled. Yes. <laughs> and yeah. then I won't do that spell. And I'll leave out the flare for how I cast the spell, because spells <laughs> speak for themselves this time. <laughs> You're, uh, uh, ten. you drop to the ground, and you are, uh, Oh, about as well as a fireball. Uh, Kinian, uh, this big crab dies in front of you. Pinch, 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 pinch. I stand up. Yeah, <laughs> intelligence for me. Disadvantage. It smells like cooked crab. <laughs> That's gonna be good. That's a three. Holy shit, <laughs> you just crushed this crab. You're sitting there pinching at him, oh, and you yeah. just crushed that son of a bitch right between your fingers. Yeah, good job. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am the Crab Slayer! <laughs> I look at my own hands. <laughs> These things are weapons? I'm a monster! <laughs> Except Kenny would be like, I'm a monster! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. It's your Surge turn. Surge of the Seven Seas. <laughs> I stand up and I look for more crabs. Yep. There's one like on on the railing, like looking like it's about to jump off and back into you the water. Totally do that. And I <clears throat> squint and bring my hands down. <laughs> Pinchy, 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 oh pinchy, 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 pinchy. <laughs> Is that your action? While as an a, action, I do this. As, a, as an action, I'm doing pinchy, pinchy, pinchy. Yeah. While squatting and actually walking left and right, <laughs> like scuttling a crab. Because... I'm scuttling <laughs> to confuse them. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Manette. <clears throat> I shoot it. Okay. Uh, except I miss. All right. So that's a 16. Uh, uh, 10. I'm going to do Scorching Ray. Let's see if I can hit. Yeah, so 20 to hit. That's, I'm assuming, going to hit. What? Yeah, 20 hit. Uh, four damage for my first of three. Okay. That one totally misses. Epically. And the third one totally misses ethically. Oh no. Alright. So that's that's my wonderful turn. It looks rough. It is now. Uh, it's turn. It jumps into the water and sploosh. Uh, uh, the boat pulls away and and you see the shell in this water, this hulking shell, and uh, it like scoots off and then whoop, goes under the water. But it's still within 300 feet? Yes, it's within 300 feet. Okay. Okay. And I stand up and say, Aha! I've done it again! And my pants completely fall. (laughs) 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 All right. Uh, 
That's after you stand up. <clears throat> I, like, I yeah, drop constantly. Exactly. The firewall, okay. And when his pants fall, I look over and I make a note to myself to explain to Kinian how belts work. <laughs> they go outside the pants to hold the pants on, <laughs> not inside the pants, letting the pants fall. The reason I asked is one of my new spells is control water. And so I could make a whirlpool to try to kill it. Ooh, you could do that if you'd like. I would like to try because apparently these crabs are always attacking this boat. And the- I think this one learned his lesson. <laughs> but you go ahead and kill him if you want. <laughs> and apparently the guards are totally inept at actually like doing their job. Mm-hmm. They need a Kenyan on board all the time. So, so-, so <laughs> the one I killed with the chromatic orb, is yeah. it cooked? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're, you know they're just bringing it over to the buffet. Oh, <laughs> and and they got the sickest buffet. Like, <laughs> you know they got the good stuff here. Those would be some big-ass crab legs. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, so it's a good thing that it's a little bit away from the boat, because then um, the whirlpool won't affect the boat. And so I'm going to make sure that How the... How deep is the river? Oh, I guess that's... 95 feet. Okay, Holy. cool. Yeah, we're good. Holy shit, that's a deeper. So it goes 25 uh, feet deep, the vortex. I have no, no that's concept. A deep ass river. Is it? I have no concept. Like, that's deep for a lake. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we'll say 35 feet. That's medium for a lake. 35 but... feet is it's enough to fit hey man, a two story house. This is Faerun, baby. Yeah. Right. Mm. And it's bigger and glaciers, it's those, yo. Yeah. Right. No, no. We'll we'll say. All right, you guys are talking me down. No, thirty-five is fine. Thirty-five, 35 is thirty-five. Thirty-five. Thirty-five feet. It's a big river for the boat and all river. that. It's a big. I mean, it's, it's a yeah, big it's river. Yeah, it's yeah. got a ship on it. Yeah, yeah, but hundred feet is just that's a, that's just not happening. <laughs> it's the the little big river casino now. Yeah. <laughs> so. So when it enters the vortex, it's going to take two d eight bludgeoning. Which is eight bludgeoning damage. Okay. And then it gets that each round it remains in the vortex. Oh god. We are going to streamline this. Does our boat start listing because we're circling a whirlpool? Uh, no, she said it's far enough away. Okay. Yeah. Because he, he did say it had already started like swimming away and all that. Uh, sure, Major. You, you don't see the crab resurface mm-hmm. by any means. You feel skillful afterwards. I feel pretty satisfied like, that... Like your EXP went up. That I've done what the... the <laughs> oh, security feeling the of... gains! <laughs> the sick gains. I'm feeling the sick gains. The Mississippi River at New Orleans is 200 feet deep. Yeah. Holy shit. And the Amazon can get crazy deep, too. Okay. Um, it gets over a mile wide at points, too. Yeah. So. yeah. Well, Good and actually, between like high tide and low tide for the Amazon, I think it's like over 40 feet. It's crazy. But um, yeah, I feel pretty tips. pretty happy that I was able to do what the security guards on the ship could not, and you know, make sure that everyone on the ship is going to be safe for the rest of the night. Yeah, I put away my thunder cannon. <clears throat> yeah, shoot you. No weapons here. Uh, I so, I start walking, but I trip. Okay, <laughs> and it just flat face right yeah. on the ground. Uh, when you guys uh, start like gathering yourselves after this battle. Uh, Lord Dryland walks up and says, uh, Well, that's about on par for what I would expect of you. Now, I find it odd that all four of you are on this boat. I I turn. I see him. You speak as if you know us. I know of you. I'm a pirate! I shout loudly. Oh, God. <laughs> Can I just turn around and cast Lesser Restoration on him? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You're capable of doing that. <laughs> I touch you, and you are now... Not poisoned. Not poisoned. You've been cursed. So you're... <laughs> and I look down. You've been, like, been cursed with cursed. sobriety. Yeah. <laughs> Instant sobriety. <laughs> My head... Hurts. <laughs> no, I'm gonna make an insight check to see if I realize what she did to him. Okay. That was beautiful, by the way. <laughs> Your whole battle. Sadly, no. Five. 
<laughs> oh. That ruins the joke. Yeah. <laughs> I was, I was gonna go. But <laughs> what's going on? Oh, your your bonds. And, yep. Is, yep. He played his character yep. the way that it's written. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, so uh, Lord Dryland says. Uh, so what are you four doing on my ship? I'm very appreciative, by the way, but uh, it. Quite concerns me that you folks are here. We're just four people on the ship, like all the other people on the ship. Mm. Who are you? I am Caspira Drylan. And who is that? Well, I. That is me, the owner of this ship. I. Kreblug? <laughs> Do you, you're, you're over there like tugging on one of the small legs yeah. uh, he says uh, he says so I'll ask you one more time are you folks on the ship for any reason other than the casino or work well I'm not I just like, oh yeah, all my friends were on here. I came on to gamble. Uh, yep. But uh, got hired instead, and <laughs> I think I was on stage. He's pretty yeah. hungover right now. Do you have any pants? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, He's just standing there, and they're like around your ankles, like. If you were uh, magically sobered up, would you be hungover? I don't think so. I think it'd be like the Gargo Blasters and then the, the what do you call it, uh, rooms in uh, well, Hitchhiker's Guide. It takes all the fun out of it. Well, I'm pretty sure this being sober is like a level of disadvantage for my Oh, character. sure. <laughs> you definitely don't like it. No. <laughs> so, he uh, says, uh, well... You all are relieved of any duties that you have taken on on this ship. Keep your noses clean, and uh, uh, when we get back to port, I do not want to see you on my ship again. I very much appreciate what you have done, but I do not want you here. I that's do not funny need way, you that's here. That's a funny way to thank us. Kyo pulls out that strip of cloth and blows his nose. <laughs> And, uh, and he just kind of turns and uh, he walks away. He walks up uh, the stairs that you saw were guard, mm-hmm. guarded Tim and uh, uh, disappears up those stairs. Well, he can go screw himself. I rip off the, the top of my clothes, essentially, the monkey suit they put me in, uh-huh. and wearing only my belt, yep. walk to my locker. To get the rest of my gear. You you see, when you walk back, you see uh, a bunch of uh, rich folk, a good portion of them sopping wet. Uh, some people are climbing up uh, over the rail out of the water. Some of the folk that are, like, helping out are like, Who the hell yells fire on a ship? What the hell? I don't know. <laughs> there was fire on the <laughs> and, ship. Uh, and, uh... <laughs> your your pal walks over from from his table. Um, he walks over and he's like, "You know, brother, you need to uh, need to cover up your ink. Uh, that's not welcome here." Pretty sure they're not noticing the ink right about now. I mean, you're not that fit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Speak for yourself. Uh, <laughs> harsh. <laughs> he says, uh, "Fair, come with me. We'll get you. We'll get you taken care of." He takes you down. Uh, you know, gets you what you what you had in your locker or whatever. And he's he's uh, sitting there, just kind of flipping some cards, twiddling his fingers basically, uh, while you're while you're getting ready. And he says, uh, "says you know." Uh, 
I could probably use you uh, in the Kraken Society. I don't know if someone's, anybody's talked to you about this yet, but, uh, I mean, brothers are always welcome. And, uh, pays good. Uh, you know, we just do that pirate thing. I look at, uh, I look at the bottle that's in my locker, mm -hmm. not really remembering. <laughs> Open it. <laughs> Take a swig. It's potent. Like, like it hits you. Like when you open it, it smells like rubbing alcohol. It's strong stuff. Oh man, who gave me this? <laughs> and I, I seal it back up and put it in my things. Why has it got a bow on it? <laughs> Are there any un untended tables? Yeah, but um, nobody's sitting at them. Uh, they're like closed up. They got like a table tent. On the suit. Everybody that decided to run and jump off the ship grabbed all their tokens as they left. No, not, not necessarily. Mm -hmm. No. How much would you like to uh, push? Uh, taking absolutely nothing from the house itself and yeah. only from the player's side of the table. Okay. I'll grab the largest stack I, I okay. think I can. So, smart move. So you, uh, you walk by as, as pit boss <laughs> and, uh, and is, you're just straightening up the tables, mm -hmm. getting everything set. You start, you know, picking off, uh, here and there. Uh, sleight of hand for me, please. Dex. Eighteen. Did you roll? Six. Nice. Uh, so, <clears throat> yeah, you're able to pick up. Get to fun those magic items somehow. <laughs> uh, you're able to pick up sixty uh, chips. Sixty chips times fifty each. Yep, they're all fifty tokens. Yep. So they seem so. Holy ball. I mean, um, considering that owner's an ungrateful bastard. Kyo's gonna search out for Poe, the wizardess. Pow? Pow. Yeah, Poe. Uh, <laughs> for the Poe people. Mm -hmm. uh, for Pow? Yeah. Alright. Uh, he wants to show her his spell book and hopefully get some advice, see if she can read any of the spells. Oh, okay. Sure. Um, uh, you walk up to her and you've got your book in, in yeah. hand mm -hmm. and she, uh, she says, uh, not now, Keo. I, uh, I'm busy. I can't, I can't just be looking at books. Bossman told me not to, not to do any more shows. You know, I guess he wants to keep the crowd, you know, keep them anticipating, <laughs> but okay. Well, if you have time later. All right. Well, we'll you seem to, you seem to be pretty good at magic. Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll look. Uh, let's look at dinner. And uh, uh, offer some crab. Yeah, yeah. Over, <laughs> over some crab. No, uh, I, I offer service. Oh, oh, you got just this big leg chunk. <laughs> yeah. just... yeah, that's that's what's in my leg. Yeah, it's just like <laughs> working the the one leg. <laughs> <laughs> pulling the tendon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, so everybody kind of goes back to what they were doing. Uh, you start hearing some grumbles about uh, uh, how they forgot their chips at their table and uh, they're missing chips and stuff like that. Uh, just to be clear, you didn't steal 60 from one given I mean, person. Yeah. It's across uh, across the six everybody. tables. Yeah. yeah. Yep, yep. Robin of the ship. Yep, yep. Um, and, uh, yeah, so what do you guys want to do? So I'm talking to my Zentaro, my brother. Yeah. I say the, the Kraken Brotherhood sounds interesting. I like the name. Tell me, I really haven't got anything pirate out of this journey so far. Is there anything worth stealing on this boat? He says, well, if you're looking to steal something, then, brother, you, uh, 
You may want to take a trip up to Lord Dryland's room. I hear he's got a chest underneath his octopus's tank. That might be a good place. I I wouldn't be surprised if some of his friends hold stuff there, like pearls or anything uh, extremely valuable. Thank you for the information. Uh, you no. didn't you didn't hear it from me though. Oh, you, I never asked, and I, you never told. Mm. Family is everything. That's right. And I pass. Pull the, the bottle out. Okay. And give it to him. He uncorks it and he just like glup 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 and uh uh he's he stops and uh he's like mm. <gasps> smooth <laughs> 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 and he he starts to get glassy eyed and uh he's like Oh this'll be a good trip. And uh, uh, passes it back to you. All right. And off I go sneaking upstairs. Yeah? Do you take anyone with you? Oh, no. No? No. You start walking towards uh, the steps that you saw driveway go up. Mm-hmm. Okay. There is someone standing at the bottom of the stairs. And uh, you just walk up to him? Yeah. Okay. What do you say? I'm here for the Kraken. It says, the what? And I headbutt him. <laughs> <laughs> After he leans in, you just headbutt him. Yes. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll uh, your attack and uh, and your damage. Uh, just do I add proficiency or just probably not. no no strength or anything? It'd be an strength. Strength. It, it, it's a well no I I would assume this would be more of like a uh, just a strength uh, or wait what is improvised attack I, no, I unarmed say. if you say you punch somebody yeah you I thought roll, it was roll your attack point. with proficiency and that's one plus strength. Oh, okay. Yes. Was that. the damage. That. So I add my proficiency and strength to this? Yes. Good God. Uh, 27. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just you crack him right in the nose. And how much How much damage does that do? Eight. He slumps. Just foomp. Uh, like a pile of, of potatoes sitting right in front of you. And I pick him up like a friend, you know, like yep. he's had too much to drink. <laughs> we can have Bernie style yeah. just... Uh huh. Okay. Where do you want to hide them? You get up to the top of the stairs, and uh, you see a few rooms um, down the corridor. Uh, there's one door that's got gold leaf uh, like uh, vines in the door, and it matches this wallpaper that's all across uh, this top floor of the boat. Do his clothes look like they fit me? The guy? No. Yeah. God no. Okay. Um. And there's just the one door? Uh, no, there's there's a couple of uh, unmentionable doors. There's Yeah, they're just smaller doors. I'd like to to drag them over a small door. Okay. Do you, uh, what do you do, just knock and, and open it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you knock and you open it, and it's just a storeroom. A couple brooms and stuff like that are inside of there, but nothing outside of that. You just plop them right down in there? Tie up his hands. Okay. And uh, gag his mouth. Okay. And uh, and you head towards the you head towards uh, Lord Dryland's room. Yeah. So you don't know where his room is. Where what do you want to do? Do you so this I head deck... toward the, the front of the ship. Okay. Okay. So uh, you are moving you are moving towards this door, uh, this golden leaf door, and. Uh, uh, you get about to this door, and uh, and you hear some you hear some like uh, some like warbling noises on on the other side of this door. Warbling, uh, burbling, burbling like oh. like like water. Oh. Okay. And that's all I hear is just like kind of yeah, yeah. It just yeah. It, it sounded like burbling. Sorry. 
Verbal. You know what I'm trying to say. I, I peer into the. <laughs> is there a, a portal window? No. No? No. Just a flat door slab. I, I test the door handle. It's unlocked. I go in. All right. Uh, when you open this door, uh, you see uh, this is a violet wallpaper all around the room. The room is uh, gaudy, completely gaudy. Uh, there's gold, uh, gold stanchions with silver stanchions and candelabras that are, are bronze. Nothing matches in this room, but it's all very expensive looking. Um, that's the only thing that that is in common with anything in here. And in the center, uh, the centerpiece of this room is this, it looks like natural carved, it looks like a tree trunk, but it's carved to hold this glass fish tank aquarium type thing. And you see uh, above it, uh, there's water that is coming from a, uh, like a decanter, and it just, uh, it's just pouring into this. Tank. Like it's endless. Like it's endless. <laughs> and uh, uh, you see, like inside this tank is a, it's a sunken ship, and uh, there's like this giant squid like wrapped around that ship, and then uh, next to it is like this corny uh, sunken uh, pirate's chest, and uh, uh, across from this aquarium is a desk with papers. Uh, all, all on top of the desk, um, and a chair on the other side that's facing the other way from you. I look around to mm -hmm. see if uh, if I can determine where the safe is. Uh, give me a investigation. Yes. Thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, so you're picking around this room. Um, your natural thought is maybe underneath the desk. At first, and uh, you're starting to, you're you're just you know sifting through the drawers. Um, uh, you move some of these papers across the top of the desk, and you try to see if there's like a uh, like a smuggler's uh, section of the top of the desk, mm -hmm. uh, like it's hollow. Uh, when you're moving these papers, you see a you see a drawing of this bowl. Um, uh, it looks like a simplistic uh, bowl, but it's a very intricate drawing. There doesn't seem to be a uh, chest here, or a, you know, whatever, a, sh a safe. I take note of the bowl. Yep. Did you want to investigate those papers? Sure. Uh, all right. May so, as well flip through them. Yeah, so, so you are, you flip through them, there's this, uh, drawing of this bowl and with how it's drawn you think this bowl might be like stone then you see this this uh very short letter and uh it says uh to ld so it says ld at the top and then it says still no sign of the pieces of six and that's all it says on it hmm. and as you're like flipping through these papers uh, you know, you're keeping an eye out from the, for the, uh, you know, anybody to come or, you know, you're listening. Uh, give me a perception check, please. <laughs> you're, you're, uh... On point. <laughs> you're keeping... You're, 24. Nice. You're keeping your ears out, um, for any footsteps that are coming down the hallway. Um, and you don't hear any currently. You do see, though, in front of you, directly underneath the uh, the aquarium, it looks like a false wall underneath it. So where the where the tree trunk is, uh, the grain doesn't exactly match up in one spot. Uh, I give it a, a tap. Yeah, with a, my fist. A Fonz tap, just boom. Yeah. Uh, and it like clicks in, and then it pops out. And the door like loosens and swings open, and and underneath you see a chest. It's a little bigger. Uh, it's it's about a foot or so tall, and uh, uh, this compartment is uh, large enough to be able to open this chest. 
uh, okay. right here. It seems locked. Uh, it doesn't have a padlock on it, but if you test the lid, it doesn't open. Can I remove the chest? Uh, no, it, it's locked in place. And it's made out of? It's, it's made out of um, uh, wood. And uh, it's got like these uh, brass bindings that go up and around uh, to hold the wood in place. I go through my pack. I produce some thieves' tools. Okay. And I, and I put them away. <laughs> and uh, I produce a crowbar. And I look at it. And I put it away. And uh, <laughs> I produce hue. Okay. And I smash the shit out of it. Okay. So, uh, roll to attack. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. So, you rear back, and, uh, and you swing, and you solidly connect with this thing. And when you do, you, uh, you're robbed of any feeling of success as the reverberation, uh, moves through the axe, and, uh, up into your shoulders. You haven't done any damage to this thing. I look at you. And it, it looks like it looks like a, a nick has been put into the blade. I, I put Hugh away <laughs> and uh, wonder if it's broken. <laughs> and uh, I pull the thieves tools out yep. nervously. Look for an actual hole in yep, the chest. Yep, right there, right there. It's it's a keyhole right on the front. And I I look in the keyhole. Yep. And investigate to see if I can tell if there's any traps. Okay. Go and ahead and roll your away. investigation, please. Add a two. Mm-hmm. Add a two. There is no trap. I stick it right in. Okay. Uh, give me a dexterity for for unlocking. Right. Thieves tools. Three, th- yeah, thieves tools. Nineteen. I don't add proficiency because I'm not proficient with it. Oh, okay. So, Nineteen. It clicks and it starts to open, and when it does, a dart comes flying out at you. Please give me a dexterity saving throw. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. You uh, dodge out of the way, and this dart sticks up in the ceiling. Um, can I grab the dart? If you can reach the top of the ceiling. The oh, ceiling is about 10 foot. I can just hop and yep. grab it. Okay. Because I'm going to get rid of the, the evidence. Okay. Because I want to close it, not have a dart sticking in the ceiling. And okay. I, and I put it in my bag carefully. All right. Uh, inside this chest is a uh, silver wine decanter and a goblet. Uh, both of them are worth 25 gold pieces each. And then there are 450 gold pieces underneath that. A pouch uh, containing uh, 50 uh, gold pieces worth of gemstones. And uh, you find inside of there this weird looking necklace. And it's got these glass vials hanging off off of them in like this, uh, almost like what what your mother would have worn uh, like teeth. Mm-hmm. Uh, these are glass vials with little gemstones on the inside of them. You're not quite sure what it is, but it looks valuable. I stuff it in my bag. Okay. I think I know what it is. And uh, is the chest now empty? Uh, yes, it is empty. I close it okay. and I attempt to relock it. Okay. Uh, when you do that, uh, you feel something on the back of your shoulders. This slimy, uh, rubbery tentacle uh, starts to wrap around your throat. I need you to roll initiative, please. That's why you never spoke about it. <laughs> oh, God. It's penultimate. Double, double 19. So double 19. 21. Uh, he rolled a 20. Yeah. So uh, the That's tentacle the wraps around your throat mm-hmm. and... Uh, uh, squeezes as hard as it can. You take five bludgeoning damage, or whatever whatever choking would be, but uh, you take five. It cuts off the airflow, uh, so you are now holding your breath. Mm-hmm. Um, so track what you need to. 
Yeah, I don't really know how to do it. Yeah, I don't know either. But I've got like, I'm like, your next muscles. You yeah. Score <laughs> 25. All right, you're your turn. <laughs> your turn. Uh, strength. I, uh, I rage. Yep. And, uh, for my first attack, I try to remove it. Okay. So this is like, is that Close possible? Grapple. Like oppose oppose the grapple? I believe that's a full action. Is to do that. To break a grapple is a full action. Yeah. So. That's not an attack. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. Well, you could attempt to counter grapple, but it would still have you grappled. Right. Which would mean you yeah. So you, you could gra- grapple. Grapple party. <laughs> I can't realistically swing a two-handed axe at myself. <laughs> Though I'd like to. Just punch it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try to, to rip him off, man. Okay. At a 22? Yeah, just and it, it the, the suckers come right off your, your neck. So now I've got him grappled. Yeah, now it's grappled. Yes. Yep. And All right. I take a, a deep breath. <gasps> what the hell, man? <laughs> it puts its tentacles up, like shrugging, like, mm-hmm. no, that doesn't happen. Uh, so it uh, slaps out at you with its tentacle once more. Uh, and it uh, misses. And when it does, it shoots ink. Everywhere, uh, just uh, so all over, hurt. all over you and the floor and everything. Um, Gross, dude. Yeah. Buy me a drink first. Uh, yeah. Get into my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my name's Jeff. <laughs> uh, your turn. It's an octopus. Yep. And uh, I'm on the second story of this thing and I know no one's coming yep. at this point but someone's coming soon yep. and I step out of the captain's quarters okay, and launch just the <laughs> octopus alright you throw this sucker into the air like a Hail Mary just because mm-hmm. as a captain yep. I, I know that you don't go murdering another captain's <laughs> parrot or whatever <laughs> um Wars have started over less, so <laughs> he's just going off the boat for now. Okay, just <whistles> bloosh. Yeah. Yep. All right. So you uh, covered with ink. Just covered in ink, and uh, when you finish up with that, you just kind of you know brush your hands off, uh, kind of look at yourself, and uh, you hear to the left of you, "What the hell is going on?" I look to the left. It's it's Lord Dryland. It's like, I told you to keep your nose clean. <laughs> you raise your hands like, what? What? What's going on? <laughs> like, what I came up here to talk about a Kraken society and a damn octopus jumped me. And you're dripping just blip. Yeah. Blip. And he, he says, uh, says, well, the only time my octopus would attack anyone is... If someone were to try and open my chest, you didn't what chest? open my chest, did you? No. Deception check. With disadvantage. <laughs> I need the double 19s. <laughs> yeah, you do. Ooh, eight. Bullshit! So, did your accent just change? All the time. <laughs> <laughs> the, point, the point is is that the DM tries. That's it. <laughs> when he's angry, he, he falls back into how he talked when he was a youth. Yes, yes. <laughs> the accent of the motherland. The youth. Use. <laughs> so. So I walk toward him. Yeah. And I'm like, I heard that you wanted me in the Kraken Guild? Society. Society? Well, not anymore. You threw my octopus off the board. I'm never gonna find that son of a bitch. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> that looked like a homing octopus to me. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> 
they, are they, are they send messages on the sea? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the suckers can hold the. Or like a carrier pigeon. It's a carrier octopus. How else do you send messages to the tritons? <laughs> I mean, I used homing octopus. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he says, he says uh, well, I wouldn't talk to any of your friends about this, but I'll talk to you. Come with me. Aye. And you walk into his office, and there's ink all over the floor, and the door is open to the chest. And <laughs> he's like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> the damnedest thing. I came to find you. Turn out your pockets. And your octopus was stealing from your chest. <laughs> Turn out your pockets. I don't have pockets. Your pockets, orc. And I, I turn out like my right pocket. I, I turn out my left pocket, and and basically, the the pearls are underneath my breastplate. <laughs> the gold is already in my bag with all my other gold. I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. Says, uh, well, I'm not going to invite anyone into my group that I think uh, stole from me. So, uh, you're gonna stay here. I'm gonna call Pal, and uh, we're gonna sort this out. Stole from you? Yes. And uh, Like you steal from all your passengers? Yes, pretty close. Uh, <laughs> Yep, just like that. One second. Jim. Pow! And he shouts. He's he been hanging out with Pow. Yeah. He Doing shouts. The puppy dog thing. <laughs> he shouts for Pow, and uh, Keo and Pow have just sat down for dinner. Uh, they're just about to pour over this book and maybe get some answers. And uh, and she says, Ruined once again. <laughs> I am I am so sorry, Keo. Uh, we'll we'll have to look at this later. And she stands up and she starts to walk away. I'm going to attempt to follow her stealthily. Okay. Uh, yeah, at an 11. At an 11. Okay. All right. Uh, you don't seem to be noticed by her. Okay. Um, she walks up the steps. Does anybody attempt to follow as well? I was about to say, I'd like to follow. Okay. Kyo's taking Poe as a, or Pao as a, um, as a role model. Okay. Because yeah. he was a little ungrounded with the whole dad thing not being what he expected but he really thinks you know if he apprentices under a great wizard like this you know he'll be back on track okay 18 stealth 18 stealth all right did you want to try following Manette? you just no. super into these crowdings um, right now <laughs> i'm gonna eat real quick and then okay. try and find someone to exchange all these chips oh. for money uh, you know only, that to be Pow. It's only Pow? Yeah, she told you. Yep. Uh, I was really hoping there'd be somebody else. <laughs> there was a suspicious amount of chips now. <laughs> <laughs> you should see what you can do. Great other. tips, man. <laughs> Great tips that night. You get, you get, yeah, you could, oh. you can roll a intelligence uh, to maybe. You could try to trade with other people. Or you could ask Kia later to try to cast minor illusion on you. Well, I don't mind your illusion. Alright, whatever. I'll follow. Okay. I cast Alter Self. I'll Alter Self. Oh, bam, 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 bam. Uh, Disadvantage. Oh, Still bar- pretty good. Still, yeah. Sixteen's all right. Yeah, I mean, that's eighteen. How do you do with... that noise backwards? You all follow along. Uh, Pow gets up to the uh, to this room. Uh, and... Uh, you all see the description of the violet walls and the gaudy things. Uh, on the ground is, is absolutely gorgeous. It's beautiful. Um, on the ground is this ink uh, everywhere. Uh, and you guys are just leaning in, looking through the door. Uh, Pow is standing there um, with her back facing to you. And Dryland's back is face to you. Uh, they're both facing Kinney and covered in ink with the shit eaten grin on his face as he sees you guys behind behind the people. 
So, she says, uh, so what do we have here? It looks like someone tried to rob us. I came in here and I found an octopus breaking into a safe. (laughs) (laughs) Highly unlikely. That was a clever octopus. I hear that they can squeeze through a hole the size of a quarter. Okay. So, uh, so what do you want done with him, Lord Dryland? Because, well, seeing how he's a captain, well, maybe, uh, maybe he needs to go for a swim. I see it fit that his death be at at the waters. And she says, so be it. Everybody roll initiative, please. Okay. Huh, I rolled the same. Well. <clears throat> 16. 17. Yes. So we can see that they're openly hostile. Uh, well, they just the, threatened. Yeah, there was a threat, so. Mm-hmm. Yes. Kyo. Kyo is heartbroken. Does it, does this count? Is there like a surprise round for us? Yeah, fuck it. Why not? Because sure. they have no idea. That yeah, they. Did. Yeah, you did su- succeed on a stealth. So, um, so those who follow get a, a surprise round. So, Kyo, go ahead. He's like, how could you? You're just like the others. Her head like snaps over her shoulder, and she she's oh, Kyo. <laughs> Yes. It's all the same. You say one thing and then you do other things. <laughs> Tio, it's not like that. That was like a date gone wrong. Is she your new mom? <laughs> <laughs> not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> oh, I can only. Oh, my heart's not in it, so I um, I twin a firebolt. Firing one at each. Okay. And, um, yeah. They are adjacent to allies, right? Uh, they are adjacent to, yes. Yep. Tinian. She snaps her fingers as a reaction. Oh, wait, no. She doesn't get a reaction because it's suppressed. Even if she did. Yep. I can react to reaction, right? <laughs> you could. You could. Uh, I think so. No? no? Not you can't counter spell, counter spell. Oh. It would well, have to be Right, right, because you're in. It has to be like. Oh. Yeah. Somebody else yeah. would have to yeah. counter spell it yeah. because oh. you're busy casting. Your okay. Spell. So, uh, 19 plus 5, 24 should hit. 24 hits, yeah. And then uh, for dragon, it's. For who? 20. For the captain. Okay. Does 20 hit him? 20 hits. Alright. So <clears throat> we have. First firebolt does 10 damage. Uh, Wilhelm's scream goes off and he he flops to the ground. That's um. That would be the power one. Oh, okay. Go for it. Oh, that, that was 10. 10? And then the captain one. Um. It does nine plus two. Okay. Oh, 11. Sorry, the first one was nine, not 10. The okay. second one was 11. All right. I don't know why I keep thinking my spell casting stat 16 when it's 14. Uh, so she takes the she takes the nine uh, and he takes his damage and mm-hmm. he screams out in, uh, in horror and uh, uh, collapses on the ground. Mm-hmm. Um, he seems to be coughing up uh, like blood. He's not doing very well. Kira's heart's hardened. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next is uh, Minette. I pull out my thunder cannon. From okay. Me. There's enough distance that it's not disadvantage. So, shooter? No. No? Okay. All right. Uh, Tin. What? Nope. You didn't follow. Surprise round for us. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 
I'm gonna cast bless on three people. Okay. I'll do that. So you three are all blessed. All right, Keo, your turn. Um, Keo demands that she explains herself <laughs> and how she could be involved with such a horrible man who's hurting his friends. And I thought we were gonna look at my spell book. <laughs> We're gonna go back to my room and look at my spellbook. Uh, uh, she, she's alone here. <laughs> uh, she, she like hardens her gaze and says, "But it's just part of the job, Kyo." And uh, she prepares. Uh, do you, do you want to do anything outside of that? Uh, I don't know if that would count as an action. That no. much talking. No, it was very few words. Like, it's not my job, it's my life. <laughs> <laughs> I run up to her and I attempt to shocking grasp. Alright, alright. Uh, is there a saving one. throw on that? Or it's, a, it's, a, it's an attack. Okay, with well, advantage. Because right, she's wearing metal. Is you she get to add metal? a d4 to it. She is. Well, it doesn't she matter. has weird metal metal on her. Yeah, weird it matter. yeah, that's why I was. Ooh, that may have saved it. So 12 plus 5. Does a 17 hit her? Yep. Oh, well, she could counterspell it. <laughs> oh, that's true. You only have a plus five on your spell. Uh, she, yeah. you go to hug her uh, with your uh, grasp, and she uh, throws counterspell. Is it a third level or lower? Yeah, it's yeah. a king trip. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah. It, you just hug her. <clears throat> Oh, it's <laughs> a hallmark <laughs> moment. <laughs> you just like grab her around the yep. way. Uh, next is Manette. Okay. Right. She's starting to cast spells. Yeah. So yeah. She don't get shot. Twenty-one plus hits. Oh yeah. The thing is, that she wants to is that do damage or just attack rolls? Just attack rolls. Just attack and saves. It's good for saves. Six, seven, uh, 15, 19 damage. 19 damage. All right. She looks rough. Uh, Kenyon. I, uh, I intercede. I step in front of the basically get between the door and mm -hmm. uh, and pal uh -huh. and I say pirate captains don't solve problems like this and I actually prone in front of the other captain and pour a potion of healing into his mouth okay all right um, and it is uh, uh, Pal's turn and uh, pal uh, reaches out her hand mm -hmm. and uh, it starts to get real chilly. Mm -hmm. Do you want to know how much I healed this corpse for? I mean, body for it. Uh, yes, please. <laughs> this corpse. Uh, five. Five, okay. Thank you. And my rage definitely dropped because it's been more than a minute since the octopus Okay. And I haven't done, I haven't been damaged, and I haven't heard anything. Well, okay. And uh, trying to lie to the thing. Oh, yeah. Kinian, like... Minette, and Ten. I need you all to give me constitution saving throws. Please. Add a d4. Add a d4. Well, except I for Ten. I did a crit yeah. fail. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. 24. 26. Nice. <laughs> You're trying to be a guy with con proficiency? Yeah. I, I got con proficiency uh, too. I got plus six. six. You're not the only one, Kim. Oh. Alright, so you take the full brunt. Uh, ten. We're about to lose bless. Mm, uh, yeah. So, okay. uh, 31. Okay. Ow. Um, Gotta get 15. Yep, so roll save. a con save. 18. Nice. You're still, so, well, still st blessed. Still blessed. Plus two, so 20. Total. Still blessed. And then everybody else takes half. Me and AJ? 15. Yep. And what was that? 15. 15. Okay. 
Uh, next is Tim. Well, I am going to heal there. myself. Okay. Because, ow. Yep. All right. So I'm going to cast Mass Healing Word, and that goes out to everyone. So let's see. 1d4 plus my mod. So Do you choose to get sealed by that? Four. I don't know, I'm just going to look that up. Well, I think it's like it says allies or something. For my spell? Yeah, it's um, I... Of your choice. Of my choice, yeah, six creatures yep. of my okay. choice. So everyone gets plus six that needs it. Well, I'm pretty pissed, so I'm going to take out Lightbringer, which I've still had on me because I never mm-hmm. went back. And okay, so attack. Oh, um, four plus. Yeah, okay, so eight's not gonna hit. Nope, nope, nope. sorry. All right, next is Keo. Two multiple attacks. No. So she attacked your friends. I know, and Keo starts crying and making a fuss. And he, not not damage wise, but pounds on her leg. That he's got his arms around, and he's like, "Why can't we all just be friends?" So, which would be a coward action. Okay, okay, sounds good. Minette with advantage. Shoot her. Yeah. In the face. Oh. So yeah. It's well into the twenties. Nice. Yep, that hits. 15, 21, 23, 27. 27. Dead. She just crumples. So, there is this Lord Drylin laying on the ground in your hands. And uh, he comes to, and he says, uh, he says, I'll, I'll tell you whatever you want. I Just let me live. Let me live. I say, I, I'm, I was telling you the truth. The octopus took the goods. We didn't have to fight. Or you didn't have to try to fight. He says, uh, one captain to another. A small loss from your safe today will be replaced in a couple hours in your casino. What's what's a small gift between friends? He says, uh, is that like rhetorical or something? <laughs> Am I giving you a gift? Your safe was never robbed. Oh. <clears throat> right? Yeah. He says, uh, he says, don't don't bother with the Kraken Society. You you won't you won't fit in there. He'll never let you. He'll never let you join. It can only bring death. <clears throat> and he like starts to stand up, and uh, and the the burn mark in his chest is still healing uh, over from the potion. Uh, he kind of like looks at his leather, his leather clothes, and um, uh, it's got like a hole in it. He kind of seems sad about that. Mm-hmm. Uh, he like kind of stumbles over to his desk, to his chair, and uh, slumps in his chair. Um, I approach him, and I say, "Well, what's the significance of this bowl?" Did you want to do? Q wanted to ask where Powell's room is because he needs to take her stuff. This is the, that's the way of wizards. <laughs> he, <laughs> there can only be there can be only one, I guess. I kind of <laughs> look at Kenyon and kind of indicate with my body language asking if you want Zone of Truth casted. No. <laughs> Remembering back to last time. <laughs> Just Okay, so that was my body language. We do bad things. 
<laughs> uh, uh, so you guys ask the question at the same time, basically, and uh, uh, was giving an icy stare while still mourning yeah. his lost friend, Pao. Uh, Drylin uh, quick looks at you because it's the quick answer, mm-hmm. and he says, "There is no room. There are no rooms on this ship." So then I begin to search Pow. Okay. Um, he looks back to Kenyon, and he says, "The bull. The bull is an ancient artifact. It's part of the pieces of six. It is something that many are looking for currently. It's the whole reason why this this giant thing has happened. It's, it's silly. It's absolutely silly now that I I see it now, and uh, I can't I can't fathom being a part of this anymore. Cool, we'll take it. Uh, there is no book. No, it's, no it's just a no. Uh, it's like a drawing. Oh. So, you guys can take the drawing. So, <clears throat> clearly, Pal won't have a need for this, and I walk up and I pick up her bag. Okay. Uh, it's like rooting through. <laughs> you know, her, her bag bag. Yeah, the bag of holding. The bag of holding. He says, uh, as a pirate captain, I would hope you to leave me with something. I would have a ship full of people that would string me up. Well, just an aside. Yep. Now would be a good time for an alternative trips. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> the, but I know that's not how this is going to go. I just, no, it's... I'm interrupting because I thought, you know, just, it would have been brilliant. No, it's, it's how it's going to go. <laughs> While we're interrupting, have we heard of the pieces of six before? I can't remember. No. 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 Okay. Uh, well, then, at the very least, you'll... Does anybody have any tokens to exchange? <laughs> And I, uh, a handful. <laughs> I gained a couple. You'd, you'd at least exchange these tokens with us. Absolutely. So I, I bring the, the bag over to the captain. Okay. And uh, he fishes out and he exchanges the tokens. Hmm. And uh, I take one before he does it for your troubles. Oh, and okay. hand him one. <laughs> <laughs> he, he also pays you out uh, your your payments for working? I, I refuse mine. I say it's not just a job. <laughs> well, why do you look for her spell book? <laughs> this is the way of wizards. <laughs> <laughs> um, Even though I'm not really a wizard, I, I yeah. don't really understand the difference. Yeah. This is a very I'm more less that moment. Yeah, yeah. And I say it's it's a fair wage. And wink at Minette. <laughs> I, I do implore that he use it for a proper, um, a, a proper funeral for her. I I will. So I ask, what what do you mean? The pieces of six, kind of, is why this whole giant thing is happening. It's a very long story, but it is something my. Mm, Master requires me to look for. It is the whole reason why we had to kill that stupid dorm giant and to take that, that king. It's stupid, stupid things. Okay, how does that relate to the whole giant thing? I'm not following. The king, the king is King Hikatan. The man you have been looking for. By the way, how do you know about us and our quest and all that? My master told me. It wasn't the marketing, you know, the leaflets that I found <laughs> in Waterdeep. Did no. you hear about us from Binwin? Because <laughs> he's got a kickback program. <laughs> I need to know. <laughs> we don't. We don't want to. You know, like gets, not pay him his dues. Yeah, he gets five five cents a sub. A sub. 
Uh, he says, my, my master told me. Who's your master? Ikitana. They killed Ikitana, didn't they? That's what it sounded like. We did not Took kill Ikitana. We <clears throat> imprisoned him on a ship that floats around the trackless sea. <clears throat> and uh, you see his eyes bulge. His, uh, his ears start to bleed. His nose starts to bleed. And the veins in his eyes uh, start to pop. And he slumps forward and thump right on the desk. I okay. walk forward and go, well, take the bag of holding. <laughs> I'll take the bag of holding. <laughs> All right. All right, so you guys take the bag of holding. And uh, I eye Keo and I eye above the aquarium. And I take the decanter. Canter, canter of endless water. And I, I set it down on the ground. Yeah. Yep. I have some ideas for this. Oh, nice. So take that. Nice. Then uh, I could become a decanter of endless steam. <laughs> yes. With appropriate magics. Uh, let me see here. So, Q, I remember you saying something about us needing water. Yeah. Ooh. That would be an expensive. Ben's off in Ben's world. Yeah. Oh well. No, no, no go ahead. Go ahead. I, I'm just wondering how long, we we Talking need to find a master um, wizard, but if we could get someone to permanence a, I don't know if that's a thing in this edition, but permanence a heat metal. Okay. Then we could feed it with the decanter of endless water, and we could control the speed by how we throttle the decanter. You know a dragon. Wait, why do we want water again? Oh, because yes. we're steampunk for the yes, ship. Oh, okay. They broke the propeller. Because I let the air elemental free. Yep. The steam's cooler. Okay. So, I took the bag of holding. Yes. And uh, I took the decanter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and, and the other things. Do you show everybody what you found in the um, in the uh, uh, chest? I I transfer okay the goods. so the four fifty and all that stuff. I pass it all to tin. Okay. No, I make sure Powell's money stays. Four fifty. Okay. Yeah. So all the the party funds, basically everything I took from the safe, including the the necklace, mm-hmm. I pass to tin. I'm like, this goes to the the party. Necklace? This goes to the group. Yeah. I've so got the decanter, the gold, the necklace, gems. Prayer beads. And yep. uh... Oh. Which Sherman's is all identify yeah. whenever we And I don't know what these are, but they looked expensive. So, um... And then you he kept hands your over a necklace of prayer beads. Fuck yes. Um, and you know this. You know what this is from, from your background. Okay. So, what's the first one? Eleven. You got two cure wounds, a bless, wind walk... Greater restoration. Yep. Greater restoration, that's pretty badass. Uh, yep. Cure wounds. Oh, two bless. The four and six are bless. Eleven and nine are cure wounds. And you can uh, cast second these level. Ones. Or lesser restoration, I guess. Well, okay. We'll, we'll just keep these numbers and we'll just okay. look up. Okay, alright. Hey everybody, uh, it's Alan, your DM, and uh, I wanted to say thank you from the cast and crew for listening to Roll with Advantage. We really appreciate it. If you feel like you want to support the podcast or um, uh, even want to get on the podcast in all sorts of different ways, go ahead and check us out at Patreon, uh, patreon.com backslash roll with advantage uh we've got all sorts of different support structures uh that have got fun little things for each of the levels if you can't support monetarily comments and subscriptions go a very long ways so if you could comment in itunes or on youtube uh that would help out the podcast so much We also love to interact with our fans. Uh, If you use the hashtag RollWithAdvantage on Twitter, or you can post in our subreddit, 
we we will be happy to uh to engage with you guys um it's super fun way to get to know some of us and uh you get to ask questions about your favorite characters um or about the world uh what's going on in the background stuff like that um we also want to say a big thank you for incompetech.com and battle bards for letting us use their music uh and sound effects they do a fantastic job and i highly suggest you guys go check them out um just beautiful work from everybody there for a full list of the pieces we use uh go ahead and check out the description and uh you'll find it there So thanks for listening and uh, we'll see you next week. Bye.